What's up, YouTube? Um, it is Monday, and a blowing smoke did not come out. That is entirely my fault. I um, had a few too many on Saturday when we were supposed to film, and fell asleep super early because I was day drinking and did not get over to Craig's house to go film blowing smoke. So I figured I gotta shoot some kind of video and I've been wanting to do this for a minute is an update video on the project bike. So I'm gonna shoot that real quick and then throw it up. So uh, no blowing smoke this week, um, but we will have another one next week. And that is again, entirely my fault. I know you guys look forward to seeing it every Monday, but uh, not this Monday. So, but uh, let's let's get into the video real quick. Um, this is just a quick update on the 72 G5 uh, 100 uh, project bike that uh, I'm working on. So, last time you guys saw it, it was all still a complete bike. Now, I haven't been filming update videos on it because, to be honest with you, not entirely sure what I'm doing and I'm going completely off memory uh, when I tore it down. So right now it is literally in pieces uh, sitting in my garage. So let me flip the camera around here real quick and I will show you guys what I'm working with right now. All right, I know it's kind of a, a bad angle back here, but here is the frame. I have everything stripped off the frame. Yeah, I mean, it's just a rolling chassis right now, so it's literally just everything here. Uh, the, oh, nope, 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 there we go, okay. The exhaust is in there. I got it wrapped up in some rust remover, so that is in the process of being uh, de-rusted. Uh, I still got to work on the frame and getting it all sanded down and then repaint it. I'm just going to repaint it black. Uh, Try to take the foot pegs off. I couldn't take the foot pegs off. Come to find out somebody welded them on at some point. So, as you see, the frame has still got a little bit of work to do to it. Uh, actually, a lot of bit of work because I haven't even touched the frame besides tearing everything off of it. So, I still got quite a bit of work to do on the frame. Let's take you over here to the rest of the, there's the tank, uh, carburetor, seat pan. Oh man, my gimbal's not want to work with me tonight. Okay, uh, seat pan, uh, you can tell that's the, the header gasket. Uh, there's uh, the right side cover and there's the head because I pulled the whole motor apart. So like I said before, I did not film it because I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing. So I didn't want to like drag you guys along in a video not knowing what I'm doing. But there's the motor. Uh, I had this, uh, the case split and I cleaned it all out, had a bunch of grime and dirt and nasty stuff on the inside, cleaned it all out and got it back, uh, started getting it back together. Now, again, like I said, and like I said, uh, just a couple minutes ago, I have no, this is the first time I ever split the, a motor apart. So no idea what I'm doing. And I was just going by memory, like I said, and making it work. So, uh, yeah, there's the motor. Um, I still got the chain in here. I got this uh, this stuff, evapor rust, and this stuff works amazing. It took off a sh shit ton of rust on everything. You see how black that that was clear, and now it's just black. I got the chain set in there right now. That's de-rusting. Uh, what parts do I have under here? Oh, okay. So here's the head, the top of the head, foot pegs. Uh, there's a piston. I do have to get a new piston. Let me set this down. I do have to get a new piston because uh, you can't really tell it because the lighting is terrible in here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right there. All right. So uh, you kind of see it. The uh, piston ring was 
uh, both piston rings actually are seized inside the head. They didn't move at all. It had compression. And then when I took the piston out, um, I tried to loosen up the, I put some PB blaster on it, a little bit of WD-40 and trying to loosen up these piston rings. And when I touched this one, the bottom one, it just broke. So these are seized in there. I gotta get a new piston head, no, new piston head, a new piston, uh, new piston rings. Uh, thank God for eBay, I'm trying to find one. Um, this is a one alpha standard. So I think I found one on there that should work. Gotta get a new piston head. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, mounting bolts, battery box, uh, flywheel that uh, I cleaned up a little bit. It was a rust bucket. So I cleaned that up. And yeah, what else is there? Um, what are the new parts I got? I can't remember now. I got, I can't remember what the, the other new part I got. This gimbal is giving me troubles. Uh, what was another new part I got? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, anyways, I know it's really bad lighting over here, but actually it's not really bad lighting because I can do this. Bam. All right, so. Here's a stator. When I took the stator out, it was complete trash. I took it out. I cleaned up all the pads and stuff on it. Just got this in the middle of the day, a new condenser and a new point. So I'm gonna be rebuilding, I'm rebuilding the stator. Um, man, what was that other new part I got? Oh, duh, right here. Uh, yeah. When I was taking the bike apart, the uh, the clutch plates. Uh, where are the clutch plates? They're around here somewhere. I don't know. They're over here somewhere. Anyways, the clutch plates. When I was taking the where is it? Oh, it's under here. Sorry, it's in it's in this rag. Uh, so I just go ahead and take it out. I'll show you guys. When I was taking the clutch plates off, when I first took it apart, they literally. Oh, oh, I don't want to lose my sequin stuff. Okay, so these are all new plates. There's four new plates in here, brand new plates. I haven't soaked them in oil or anything yet. I know I still need to do that. I just wanted to make sure everything was gonna fit back together the way it was supposed to. Uh, but like I was saying, when I first took the clutch plates off, um, the first two plates that I pulled off crumbled into pieces. So it was just straight pieces. And I was like, well, I gotta get new clutch plates. So I ordered new clutch plates and a new rebuild kit for the stator. Uh, the next thing I'm going to order is the gasket kit because that gasket is bad. Actually, I could probably salvage it, but I'm not going to because the gasket should, ooh, excuse me. The gasket kit is so cheap. I'm just gonna scrape that off and put a new gasket on, uh, put a new gasket kit on the entire motor. And the stator kit is what I read. So like I said, I gotta get, um, I'm gonna get the new piston and the new gasket kit next. And then I should be able to finish putting this entire thing back together and hopefully see if it runs. Uh, oh, well, I'll have to get a new coil too because this coil right here is busted. Uh, there's a big old crack in it right there. I'm not even gonna try and see if it works. You can get new coils, aftermarket coils uh, for these bikes for like less than $20 online. So that's what I'm gonna do is just do that. So first thing I wanna do uh, is get the motor back up and running. Once I know the motor runs, then 
I'll start working on the rest of the bike. So that's where I'm at right now. That's the update. That's the video for tonight. As you see, my garage is this corner is a mess with all these bike parts everywhere. It was because it wasn't organized like I should have been when I first started tearing it apart. And uh, yeah, just like usual, overzealous. Started tearing it apart and then stacking parts in the corner. So, but that's where we're at. We'll end the video here. Uh, that's the update. So. Uh, like, like I said, when I first got the, when I first got the bike, there is no timeline. <sighs> Skimble. Uh, there's no timeline on this, on this bike. I'm, I'm mostly waiting on parts. So, mostly gotta wait, I mostly gotta wait and buy parts, wait for them to come in, put it together, and then keep going from there. So, hopefully the next time, the next update video I do, uh, the motor will be back together and possibly running so we will we will see uh again sorry for no blowing smoke tonight completely my fault and we will be back again next week with blowing smoke remember like comment subscribe if you have any questions over this bike or over what i'm doing or whatever let me know i answer them to the best of my ability and yeah, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and remember to keep the shiny side up.